Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be introducing you to Google Keep. Google Keep is a free note-taking application that you can use on your Chrome browser or on any device. It is a great way to organize ideas and create checklists. This is something that I can see as a great benefit to teachers and students. So as a teacher, I'm going to walk you through how I use it. And when you see that, you might have some ideas of how you could use this with your students or give them some tools to stay organized and work through tasks as well. So this is Google Keep and you just go to keep.google.com to access this application. And basically, to me, it kind of looks like a pin board or a bunch of post-its. And I use it to keep all the things that I need to do organized or all the ideas that I have that I want to do organized. And what I have done is I've created different categories. There's math, AVID, electives, and so on. And within those, I've created checklists of things that I need to accomplish. Um, some of the things that I have down here, these are just ideas of things that I want to do for future ed tech tips, um, things that I want to share with the departments that I'm in, and just kind of a way, again, to organize ideas and things that I need to do. So let me walk you through how you use this. If you want to take a note, you simply come up to take a note and you can um, create a title and then you can start taking notes in here. Now, if you want to make a checklist, all you do is you go to more and you say show checkboxes and now you have a checklist. You can change the color of it. So maybe I want to change it to a different color. You can add reminders to it. So maybe I want to make a reminder to finish lesson plans later today. So I could add a reminder and I could say later today, 8 p.m. And that will give me a reminder for this set of notes. I could even share it with other people so that they can collaborate on things that need to be completed. So maybe you have one that you are doing as a department. You could even share that um, set of notes with them and you guys can work through those lists. You could add images. You can archive it. Um, you can add labels. As you can see down here, I have labels like math, AVID, electives, and TTL. Um, and you can make copies of it, and you can even copy it to a Google document. Okay. So it's a really great tool to use just to kind of take some notes. And then when you're done, you click Done. And it shows up down here. And if I want to, I can pin it, and then it will show up at the top. And if I'm done and I start have work and I've worked through some of my tasks, I can even um, have check marks. So that will show that it's completed, that I'm done with it. And if I want it to go away completely, I can just hit the X and delete it and show that I'm working through tasks that way as well. Um, you can also change the layout so you can put it in a list view or you can put it in a grid view. And you can even draw on your notes so you could um, start a new note and you can draw or write notes on there. So it has a lot of different and unique tools that you can use. And then when you're done with them, you can even just delete them. So maybe I'm done with these and I'm just going to delete them and they are gone. And with the labels, if I click on Avid, I can see my notes for Avid. And sometimes I might have more things in there. So I think on my TTL when I have a couple things in there, and one's a link of an article. And to label those, you just have to create the labels by going to edit. You create your labels. And then when you're in your notes, you can just tag it by choosing um, add label. And you can even tag it to multiple places. Now, the cool thing about this is that it syncs directly to your phone. So you can download the application and you can keep track of your lists on your phone and on your um, Chrome browser as well. And I think that this has some great applications for students. Now, one other thing that is really cool about this is there is the Google Keep extension, and I will share that with you guys as well. And this extension, it looks like this. It has a light bulb on it. Mine already says add it to Chrome, but you would need to add yours to Chrome. But what's really cool about this is say that you are reading an article or you find a cool website or something that you like that is online, you can save it to Google Keep just with a press of a button. So let's say I was reading, I was reading this article earlier and maybe I didn't get to finish it and I want to come back to it later. And I can just click the keep button and then it says saved. I could even take a note and say, remember to read this later. And you can see that it says saving and I marked it as TTL because it was kind of like technology based. And when I go back to Google Keep, 
I can see that it is right here. It's not pinned, but it shows up right down here. And then if I go over to my TTL um, label as well, it's also in there. So that's kind of a unique tool that you can use to kind of go back to things really quickly if you need to. And then if I'm done with it, I can just delete it once I've read it and now it's gone. So this is a great tool, I think, for teachers and students. Um, for teachers and students both, it can help keep organized by creating your lists and your tasks and things that you need to work through. So if you have any questions on this or how to start using it, um, please do not hesitate to contact me for any questions.